This is your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live, and in color. Um, before I start this video, I would like to say that if at any time in your life or you're going through something that makes you think that you want to end your life, you can always call the suicide hotline. I will post that information in the description box of my video if at any time you feel like you want to end it all or you feel like no one cares you can always call the suicide hotline because somebody cares i care so that's why i I will, I, I always send my email address me, me. in the video. Me, me. Hi, hey. Okay, go sit down and watch Paw Patrol. Um, I always put my email in my videos. So if at any time in, in, in life you feel like you just want to end your life, Life is not worth living. You can always call the suicide hotline or you can always email me at shaquana.horace at gmail.com. That's S H A Q U E N A dot H O R A C E at gmail.com. And I will, I will respond to any emails that I receive from anybody that feels like they just want to end it all. Okay, so on with the video. It's a story time, and it's titled My First Suicide Attempt. JJ, go sit down. My First Suicide Attempt. Um, I don't know how old I was, but I was young, maybe eight or nine years old, maybe ten. And I used to have seizures, and I took some seizure, I used to take seizure medicine, and it was called Tegretol. So, growing up as a person that's in the wheelchair, it's kind of hard um, coping with life. You feel like you're a burden to people, you feel like you're not wanted, you feel like you're not loved. So, what do you do? You don't talk to anybody because you feel like won't nobody understand what you're saying or understand how you feel. They think you're crazy. So what I did was I took an overdose of my seizure medicine. At first, it was an accident. Let's just get that. Sh it was an accident. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Um, Then, you know, I said, well bump it i'm just gonna end it all so i took some more and i took some more and i took some more and i took some more needless to say y'all it didn't work okay it didn't work at all the only thing it did to me y'all was put me to sleep and i slept probably four hours my mom didn't know what i had done she just thought I was sleepy. So, I slept for maybe three, four hours. And, y'all, it sounds funny now, but let me tell you something. Back then, it was not funny to me. I was pissed. I was mad. But when I woke up, I was mad that I woke up. I'm like, really, God? Really? Really, like, really? That's, that, I'm like, this is your cruel joke on me, right? You know, I'm like, okay, well, since you have given me a second chance at life, what is the purpose, what's the reason for you want me to be here? It's got to be a reason. So, 
I, I, I kept looking for that reason, kept looking for that reason, kept looking for that reason. And I'm like, ugh. I, I don't see why he want me to be here. So my second attempt came when I was in the sixth grade. Um, it was a guy that I liked. And I really don't celebrate April Fool's Day. But back then I did. But now I don't because I don't like I, it. it just it, People just get cruel with it. But I forgot it was April Fool's Day. So I go to school like any other day. And so... It was a guy that I liked, and he um, made it seem like he liked me. And so, you know, he asked me to be his girlfriend in sixth grade. And so, you know, I was happy and everything, you know. And everybody knew what he had done, you know, by telling me that I was his girlfriend and everything. And, you know, um... And so I was like, okay, and but but let me let me back, okay, yeah. And so um, I was like, I was I was on cloud nine, y'all. You I mean you know how you get when you get that one boyfriend, you know that one dude that likes you, and y'all become boyfriend and girlfriend. And you just happy, like you 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 just don't know how to act. And so at the end of the day, we're close to the end of the day. He came up to me and he said, Shaquan. I got something I got to tell you. And I'm like, okay, but well, what is it? He said, April Fools. I'm like, April Fools? Like, what you talking about? And I had been writing April 1st on my papers all day long. So I knew it was April Fools, but what I did not know was what was he saying April Fools about. And I just was not putting two and two together. And so he said, I was... It was all a joke. I'm not interested in you like that. So, I'm like, what? This was, this was the second dude to do me wrong like that. The first dude that did me wrong. Well, this was my third attempt at suicide. This was my third. But my second attempt was when a dude told me if I lost weight, he'll be with me. And so, I tried to... I tried to um, lose the weight, lose the weight, lose the weight, and I end up almost having an eating disorder, which I'm going to talk to y'all about that, but I tried to commit suicide second time, third time, like I said, the dude did an April Fool's joke on me, and I went home and tried to take some pills, which was my seizure medicine again, and uh, no, it wasn't my seizure medicine, it was, it was something else I tried to take. I don't know what it was, but it didn't work. It just made me sick. But the second time I tried to commit suicide, I tried to starve myself. Um, so that's the three times I tried to commit suicide in my life. First time with pills. Second time I tried to starve myself. Third time I took some pills. Don't remember what the pills were the third time. So I said, okay, God, I'm just going to stop. And I'm just going to do what you want me to do and, and, and see where this life goes. Y'all, it has not been easy. It has not been easy. It has not been easy. And it's still not easy. But I do live this life because I got nieces and nephews, babies that need me. And I need to be here for them. So... I live for them, not for me. I live for them. But I do appreciate the chances, the, the second and third chances that God has given me. Because if it was not for his mercy, I wouldn't be here. And that's my story time of the first, second, and third time of me trying to commit suicide. So, like I said in the beginning, y'all, if you or anybody that you know suffers from depression, get them some help. Because life is not easy, y'all. 
it, 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 it may be easier for some people, but some people it's not easy. And for the ones that it's not easy for, the people that it's not easy for, get them some help. Make sure that they are okay. Because life is too short to play around. God only gives you one life to live. You must live that life to the fullest. Because once it's gone, it's gone. And you have to give an account to of, of everything that you've done in life. So make sure that your life is is very fulfilled. If you know anybody that's suffering from depression, be a friend. Help them out. Don't judge them. And don't please, y'all, please. For those of you Christian people that believe so hard in the Bible, please don't quote scriptures. Please don't. I'm, 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 I'm begging y'all, please don't do that. Please don't. Just be a friend, be a family member, and just listen. They don't want you to try and fix the problem. They want you to just listen. And if you feel like you cannot handle the situation, make sure you go to somebody that can help with that person that 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 love one of yours because the because the worst thing you can do is judge somebody okay i don't judge nobody for their mental problems and depression is a mental illness and i suffer from depression okay but i talk about it not with my family but with friends Friends that don't judge me. I talk about it. I talk about it. I talk about it. Because if I don't, y'all will never see me again if I don't. But I talk about it. I have my days when I don't feel good. So, I, 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 try to st I, I stay to myself and that's the worst thing I, that you can do. You stay to yourself when you have them bad days when you're in your head. But I do talk to friends when I have my bad days. Trust and believe, y'all. This ain't. Th this is not me crying out for help because I got me under control. I got me under control. I'm just putting out my story to help others and to also help people help those who are suffering don't judge just help don't pick up that bible as christians and want to judge leave that bible alone y'all leave it alone god gave you sense enough to lend a helping hand not to use his words to hurt because that's what you're doing basically you're hurting people so with that being said, like I said at the beginning of my video, I will be putting the suicide hotline in the description box for those of you that need the help. And I will be putting my email address at the in the description box, even though I put it at the either at the beginning or the end of my video. So until next time, have fun playing with your nails. If you have nails or if you're growing your nails. Have fun putting your makeup. If you will makeup and y'all, please look li uh, blah. please live life because God only gives you one. Mwah.